we're going to do a tiger face, and I'm going to use one of my favorite split cakes from uh, Silly Farm. It's Brilliant Bling, I think is what it's called. But I'll get it over here. It looks like this. I really like it. It's metallic and shiny. I think it's going to make a great tiger for a girl. So, hope you enjoy it. For this design, you'll need Brilliant Bling Split Cake, available through facepaint.com, Paradise White, Tag Pearl White, Diamond Effects or Wolf Black, Diamond Effects or Wolf White, a sponge or two, a number five round brush, and cosmetic glitter. I used American Body Art Tangerine for this because I love the way it looks on top of the uh, Brilliant Bling Split Cake. For the eyes and right above the mouth, load your sponge with a combination of Paradise White and Tag Pearl White. Using the Paradise White will give you good coverage and using the Tag Pearl White will give you a little shimmer. Apply the white above the eyes at about a 40 degree angle. I think mine was a little bit steep here, so you can actually bring that split cake with the Brilliant Bling down into it. Um, after you're done with that, load your Brilliant Bling split cake on a sponge and begin covering the nose area with the lightest color on that split cake. Then use the rest of the colors to cover the forehead and come down on either side on the cheeks. When you're covering the cheeks, you want to start up by the eyes, make sure that you have good coverage there, and then come down in a slightly curved shape as you get lower on the cheek. Before that paint is entirely dry, that's when you're going to want to add your cosmetic glitter. So uh, if you have to, you may want to go over those areas one more time just so everything is just slightly damp before you add your cosmetic glitter so it will actually stick to the design. Next you're going to load your number 5 round brush with Diamond Effects Black or Wolf Black. They both work great for lining and I usually begin by outlining the white a little bit. That's why as I looked at this design I felt like I was a little bit steep on my angle. Um, the next thing you're going to do is do some thin, thick, thin lines. If you've ever taken any of Mark Reed's classes, this tiger design is inspired a little bit by his. Um, you want those tiger stripes to be thin, thick, thin. The order I usually use when I'm applying the black to the design is I do around the eyes, then I do the forehead, then I'll do the muzzle, and then finally underneath the cheek areas. I also like to add a few large and small dots here and there because I think it adds a little more visual interest, so I do that with the black as well. Use your white and your number five round brush to add some dots here and there throughout the design. A little highlight makes it a little more interesting to look at and also to add two very tiny tiger teeth on either side of the mouth. You don't want these to be too large because it will look funny. Okay. So thanks for stopping by today. I hope you really like this design. It's very standard tiger design. Really the difference is that I use the Silly Farm Brilliant Bling because it gives it that metallic shine. It's a little more girly design add some sparkle and some glitter because we all love glitter. So I hope it's something you can use and you have a lot of fun with. Might be a fun way to add a little more of a um, holiday flair to your tigers coming up because Christmas and Thanksgiving are coming. So have a great time with it. Bye-bye.